Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather with meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. Well, 1219, and Tyler, you were talking about a cool down. Yeah, it turns colder at the end of the week, but we're all over the place for the next five days. It's just a reminder that we're in spring here in northern New England. We kind of got lucky there late last week with the 70s and the sun. Now we're a little closer to reality, but we do have 65 in Burlington. The sun has been out a little longer than we thought it would be. 50s, though, south, 55 in Lebanon, only 51 for Rutland and Bennington. Messina, though, at 60. And Storm Tracker looks almost just like it did yesterday afternoon, where we have some clouds over us, thicker as you head south and west, but then the rain is out of our area by just a hair. A little bit of rain there in Watertown, in Bennington as well at times, but it's just not amounting to much when we could actually use a good soaker. We just don't have that in the forecast, at least right now. You can see that sprinkle potential in southern Vermont. That basically holds true for the rest of the day, but not much more than that. And I do think the sunshine we have in the Champlain Valley will fade to clouds by later on. So the bonus sun kind of goes away later on, but check out Futurecast. We have a really nice Tuesday on deck. And you can see that here, the sunshine builds in for tomorrow. And temperature should be mid and upper 60s. I think by Wednesday, we are pretty much in the same boat. There will still be some clouds, but also a lot of sun mixing in and a slim, slim chance for a shower. But it's becoming clear that the real chance for rain or snow is with the system that comes in at the end of the week. And as you see here, we're mild until that happens. So almost 70 in some spots tomorrow and Wednesday, Thursday is still in the 60s as clouds come back. But check out Futurecast here. This is Thursday into Friday. There's an increased chance for a rain shower on Thursday. I still don't think Thursday is very wet. If we luck out, maybe have some sun then too. But by Friday morning, really keying in on Friday morning, there may be a mountain snow, round of snow. Uh, I'm thinking southern Vermont at this point into southern New England. And then that gets out of here. Now, the northern edge of that Thursday into Friday storm is still in question different models uh, all over the place. But I just wanted to show you this idea. This is not something to etch in stone, but the potential there for three, six inches of real wet, heavy snow, best chance at this point would be as far south as you can go in the higher elevations. We will have a close eye on it. It can snow all the way into May. We've seen it in years past, so that's not too shocking. Tonight, we have temperatures in the 30s and 40s. And then tomorrow, look at this, 68 in Burlington with sunshine, 65 for St. J. And as we head into the Tri Lakes, low 60s for southern Vermont. We've got 65 tomorrow in Bellows Falls. So certainly a brighter look tomorrow overall. Same thing for Wednesday. Pretty nice then. More clouds Thursday as we await that end of week storm. I think it mostly misses the Champlain Valley, but the, the big question is what happens in the mountains to the south. The weekend looks beautiful, though. 60 to 65. Lots of sun. Sarah Beth? All right. Thanks, Tyler. Meantime, the prosecution is expected. 